NBC's Tom Costello is in a helicopter over the scene. We talked with him a short while ago. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we're in WCAU News 10's helicopter from Philadelphia, and really uh, at 2,000 feet, you get just a staggering view of this incredible disaster. The trains twisted and broken on the tracks there. We have seen uh, several big cranes moving in this morning. The job is going to be to right those train cars. Candidly, they want to get the train cars up to make sure that they can begin moving and cleaning up this mess, but really their more immediate concern is they're still looking for victims. They want to make sure that nobody, nobody, is involved or, or caught up in that twisted metal that nobody's underneath these cars and so they've also had dogs on the scene uh, sn sniffing the area smelling for any signs of, of human life or, or any signs of, of cadavers candidly right there in, in the uh, in the wreckage the NTSB go team is on the scene this is a massive investigation it's going to involve not only the NTSB the, but the Federal Rail Authority and of course uh, you would expect that the, uh, the uh, Pennsylvania State Police will also also be involved. There's going to be all, all sorts of elements to this. They're going to look at the, the data from the black box on board the train. That will give them the telemetry, tell them everything about the speed, how fast this train was moving when it actually came through this curve, and also did it obey all of the all of the signals, the track signals. They'll be looking at all of that data. They also need to look at the condition of the tracks, the condition of the wheels on board the train. And then they need to also uh, do the full forensics analysis uh, in, in involving the Individuals, the, the conductors and the engineers, they're going to be doing the blood toxicology report, looking for any signs of, of alcohol or drugs or anything like that. That is a normal process. In no way does it suggest that they, that they suggest something uh, went wrong here in terms of the conductor or the engineer, but they've got to go through the entire process. I would suspect that this is going to take weeks or even uh, months, uh, guys, but, but as you know, right now the Northeast Corridor from Philadelphia to New York is essentially shut down. This this is, as you know better than anybody else, this is that main artery that comes uh, right through the heart of, of the I-95 uh, corridor, and it, it transports uh, just so many people every day between yep. Washington, New York, and on up to Boston. So to have that crippled right now is going to be a major inconvenience, to say the least, for many people up and down the East Coast. But the immediate concern is making sure that nobody else is still inside the wreckage. Guys, back to you. All right, that was Tom Costello reporting. Joining us. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Ayman Mohideen from MSNBC. Thanks for checking out our channel. Subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives.